in East Carbon, Utah. It's such a small town, uh, roughly 1,600 people. Every, you, you know pretty much everybody. Everybody knew that they had just lost one of their own. It's something that is going to impact us for a while. It's not just going to go away. It's, it's going to tug at our hearts for a long time. A house caught fire this weekend, and the scars are left behind. Somebody uh, uh, called dispatch and, of course, got the, uh, the officer on scene, and, and he was beating on the door. And, uh, you know, no answer. Um, we, this is such a small town that he was familiar with the cars that would have been there. And there weren't, they weren't there. So he, at that point, was pretty comfortable that there was probably nobody in the house. In that tense situation, no one thought there was anyone home. It was hot. You could feel the heat clear down to my house. Scary, scary. But as firefighters worked to knock down the flames, they learned a girl was inside of the home all along. 11-year-old Holly Fox was pulled from the home, but did not make it. And to even lose a child in any way is so rare for us that it's just, this has been tough. Since the fire this weekend, neighbors, friends, community members, they've all come by the home to grieve and pay their respects. Our community is devastated. We are, we are all devastated. Um, Holly was very well known. And it felt like she was my sister, basically. So it's kind of like I lost my sister. Holly with a heart of gold. Those in the neighborhood called her Mother Hen because she was always taking care of others. And so she was very well known to everyone. Everyone that knew Holly loved Holly. The community will be holding a vigil for Holly on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. in Sunnyside Park. Just to remember her. Remember the girl that she was. Remember how she would want our community to handle things with the vigil, coming together as a community, and just remembering the awesome, amazing little girl that she was. The cause of this fire remains under investigation. In East Carbon, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.